When we talk about traveling through space, there's always going to be one gigantic and unavoidable problem that needs to be overcome. It's having enough energy, basically the right kind of fuel, to reach your destination. Every sci-fi story introduces some imagined plot device to sidestep the energy problem, like warp cores, hyperdrives, and so on. But that's why we call it science fiction. None of these technologies exist in the real world today, and while breakthroughs could change the game, they aren't on the horizon in our lifetime. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we'll never see a spacecraft travel between the stars of our galaxy. It just means that we need to find a new approach to powering those spacecraft. And the best place to start looking is actually going deep into our own history. For most of human existence, we traveled by boat using wooden oars powered by human labor or cloth sails driven by the wind. Sailing ships carried no fuel, yet they crossed vast distances by harnessing the forces of nature. Even today, sailboats glide across lakes and oceans, moving without engines, guided solely by the movement of air. Now, what if we could apply that same principle in space? Before we do, let's take a closer look at how sailing actually works, because the forces that drive boats through water might reveal something surprising about propulsion beyond Earth. Ask yourself this question. What moves a sailboat? The answer seems obvious, right? It's the wind. But where does wind actually come from? You see, wind is driven by differences in temperature. Some parts of the Earth heat up, while others remain in shadow. Hot air expands and rises while cold, dense air moves in to fill the void. This movement is what creates the wind. And at the heart of this entire process is the sun, the engine of all weather and nature on Earth. So in a very real way, sailboats are actually solar powered. For thousands of years, sails let people cross the great oceans, but even the greatest sea voyages pale in comparison to the boundless empty space beyond our planet. The ocean is vast, but space is infinite, a pure vacuum where nothing pushes, pulls, or drifts without purpose. So how do we move through it efficiently? Our current rockets are simply too slow and too inefficient to reach the stars above us. Apollo, the space shuttle, and today's SpaceX missions rely on chemical fuel, burning through massive amounts of propellant just to break free of Earth's gravity. Even reaching our closest neighboring planets remains incredibly difficult with chemical rockets. Scientists have explored new ways to make space travel faster, like nuclear propulsion, ion drives, and even antimatter engines. Each offers promise, but each comes with massive challenges. They need too much fuel, they aren't efficient enough, or the science just isn't ready to take us to another star. Proxima Centauri, the closest star system, is only four light years away, but with today's rockets, that distance might as well be infinite. So if traditional rocket engines won't get us there, then what will? Among modern propulsion systems, ion drives are the most fuel efficient. They use electricity to generate thrust, allowing spacecraft to accelerate steadily over time. With enough fuel, an ion-powered vessel could eventually reach incredible speeds, far beyond what chemical rockets produce. But there's a problem. Xenon, the dense gas required to create the ions in the first place, is limited. We simply can't carry enough of it to achieve the necessary acceleration for the immense distance between stars. The Parker Solar Probe holds the overall speed record as the fastest spacecraft ever launched, accelerating towards the sun at over 690,000 kilometers per hour. But for spacecraft traveling outward into deep space, Voyager 1 remains the fastest moving away from the sun at about 61,000 kilometers per hour. At that speed, reaching Proxima Centauri would take more than 17,000 years. So a probe sent today wouldn't return meaningful data for another 350 centuries. If rockets can't take us to the stars, then what will? The answer isn't more fuel or bigger engines, it's something entirely different, something that doesn't require fuel at all, like sailboats powered by the sun. Could we do the same with a spacecraft? Well, actually, we already have. The technology is called a solar sail driven not by engines, but the gentle pressure of light, 
the same way a kite is pushed by the wind. The sun emits photons, tiny particles that have no mass, yet they carry both energy and momentum, meaning they still exert force when they collide with a surface. When they strike a highly reflective solar sail, they don't simply vanish or bounce off randomly, instead they transfer some of their momentum to the sail, pushing it forward one tiny step at a time. Unlike chemical rockets, solar sails don't burn fuel, instead they harness the constant stream of photons in sunlight. Though the initial thrust is weak, it never stops, and this continuous acceleration allows the spacecraft to gradually reach incredible speeds over time, far beyond what conventional engines could ever achieve. Solar sails must be ultra-light, ultra-strong, and highly reflective, because absorption won't generate thrust. Instead, it would simply heat up the sail, wasting energy instead of converting it into motion. Steering works by adjusting the sail's angle, like a sailboat tacking into the wind. So light isn't just the engine, it's the rudder, the compass, and the fuel driving the sail forward while giving it precise control over its own path. And this isn't science fiction. In May 2010, Japan's space agency JAXA successfully deployed Icarus, a solar sail spacecraft. All on its own, without fuel, Icarus eventually reached a speed of thousands of kilometers per hour. It flew past Venus and continued transmitting data for five years. With a gravity assist from Venus, Icarus eventually hit a top speed of 12,000 kilometers per hour. Given the chance, it could have ultimately gone faster even then Voyager at 60,000 km per hour. In June 2019, the Planetary Society's LightSail 2 used sunlight alone to change its orbit around Earth, proving controlled solar steering actually works. And in September 2024, NASA launched ACS-3, successfully deploying its 9-meter-wide solar sail. Its acceleration was small, but measurable. However, one of the booms has buckled, causing some issues, but the spacecraft continues to provide valuable data. These missions prove solar sails work, but to reach the star's sunlight alone might not be enough. We may require something more, an extra boost. We can give solar sails that extra push they need with powerful Earth-based lasers. Project Breakthrough Starshot proposed in 2016 by Yuri Milner, Stephen Hawking, and Mark Zuckerberg aims to push solar sails to 20% of the speed of light fast enough to reach Proxima Centauri in just 20 years instead of 350 centuries. The challenge? Cost. Building Starshot would likely require billions of dollars. While we could just use the sun to propel us, external lasers really make the difference. Space-based laser stations could work, but their output would never match Earth-bound laser arrays, which can generate virtually unlimited power. The principle is simple. Fire a powerful laser at the sail and the photons push it forward, just like sunlight. But unlike the sun, a laser can concentrate immense energy on a tiny area, accelerating the sail far faster than natural starlight ever could. The laser array itself has to be enormous, potentially kilometers wide, but it's not dangerous unless something like a bird or aircraft happens to pass through the beam. Since space is mostly empty, there's little risk of damage outside our atmosphere either. So let's assume we actually build this vessel. Once a solar sail leaves the solar system, steering becomes far more difficult. Since light intensity diminishes quickly once you move away from the source, most of the sail's acceleration needs to happen early, meaning precise aiming is crucial before reaching deep space. Once a solar sail reaches its target system, slowing down is pretty straightforward in theory. By flipping the sail around to face away from the incoming photons of the new star, the same light pressure that once propelled it forward can act as a brake. But assuming that we can get this right, that a solar sailing ship can cross the great emptiness between the stars of our galaxy, then what? What do we do with that capability? Again, we can look to history. No sooner had it been proven that a boat could sail west across the Atlantic Ocean and find new land, that a new era of exploration had begun. People are drawn to the unknown, it calls to us, and inevitably, humans will answer. But we have to think big. A human-scale solar sail vessel would need an enormous sail, kilometers wide, something that could only be manufactured and assembled in space. 
the ship itself would require heavy radiation shielding, and a lack of gravity over such a long journey would pose serious health risks. Life support would have to be exceptionally reliable and self-sustaining. If humans are involved, a purely solar-powered sail likely wouldn't be enough. Laser propulsion would almost certainly be required to reach the necessary speeds, but the core principle is sound. Solar sails require no fuel, can reach incredible velocities, and could be our ticket to the stars. The only thing holding us back is the will to build and fly them.